All right, guys. Hi, and welcome back to another reaction video on my channel. So, um, another day, another reaction, another Matt Rose reaction. You know the drill by now, I would assume. Um, yeah, Matt Rose is back. This time, a uh, viewer suggestion, as you can see here. Um, the Pip of Despair. Thank you very much for your recommendation. So today we are going to be looking at the first suggestion. Um, this one's called Reddit's stupidest arguments. So, um, we haven't done that many Reddit videos. So that checks out. That's a good idea. Good occasion. And yeah, Reddit is pretty stupid. So I think that should be, uh, yeah, quite the entertaining experience so as always a link to the original video is in the description matt is slowly clo closing in on 1 million subs so if you want to support him with that um check him out so enough talking and here we go What's the stupidest argument you've ever gotten into? I asked this question mid-argument with my girlfriend in order to vent. Fighting okay. with my brother about which fruit would win if they were sentient and could fight. Huh? <laughs> uh... I mean, obviously pineapple. Well, except coconut would kick his ass. Uh... Have you seen a durian before? Is the yes, right. Uh, yeah, okay. I can't believe they actually engage in this conversation. Why are we talking about this? Grapes. Bro, what? It's like a little purple gang who doesn't love an utterly pointless argument i just recently Bruh. spent an evening debating with my mum because she swore the guy from 127 hours didn't just cut his arm off but eat it as well and huh now that is a conversation i never thought i would have or would have to hear what of course, to see what dumb quarrels have been occupying others, where else to look but our old friend Reddit. If you listen to an audiobook, can you say you've read the book? That shower thought escalated to an argument. If you listen to an audiobook, can you say you've read the book? Well, I would say that if they read the book, the actual book, one by one, and you listen to the whole thing. And I would say, yeah, you, you can say that. What if they're just like telling the story? I would say no. I don't know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit divided on this one, but I would say, um, if they are just reading the book as it is. Yeah. You, you could say you reread re it because it's like basically like someone else next to you is reading it out loud and you're just listening to him. If that's the case, I would say yes. Argument that escalated to sleeping on the couch. 12 man screaming match in a dorm room over correct way to wipe your ass. I once got oh an my God. that escalated to a physical fight over whether what? Garfield thinks or talks the different. Bro, between a windshield and a window, is it? Jesus Christ, baby. Hey, I'm curious how that's that conversation even come up. But I'm not talking about their goddamn function, I'm talking about what the fuck it's called. Yeah, all windows shield from the wind, so do the ones in your house. But you don't call those windshields, do you? Do you? Can a lightsaber cut through Superman? I had actual science, technology, engineering, and math friends post essays on my Facebook arguing about this. It lasted for a You know, if you don't have enough free time, uh, if you have too much free time, you don't have enough to do, you just, you just can't do stuff like that. Like, people normally wouldn't worry about this shit. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't. 
week of just arguing about do you eat or drink soup on Again, why, why are we having this conversation to begin with? Like, what? And does it matter? Like, I'd say you're clearly eating soup because you're using a spoon for it. I don't even want to talk about it. What? Snakes have chins. They fucking do too! Kyle! I once argued with someone about whether rain was blue or not. If Bob the Builder... No. Rain is not... What? Um... No. Rain is most certainly not... What? No, it's not blue. It's just water. I deserve to be that famous. I still say he never does anything, just as his tools do all the work. He's more like Bob the Foreman. That itch is not a huh? word. It's a noun. If you have an itch, you scratch it, not itch it. I'd stay a while, but I'm itching to get going. Wrecked. I got in a fist fight over the number of ba 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 sounds Elton John makes in. Someone tried to fight with me over how Bro. to spell my name. My ex and I. Wait. Someone tried to fight me over how to spell my name. Again, people just have too much free time. But you got people working two or three jobs at the same time, working double shifts so they can re pay rent. And then you got idiots like that. That's fucking wild. My name, my ex and I got into a very, very heated debate about okay. if you put icing on a muffin, then it's a cupcake. I mean, yeah. That, that, that's literally what it is. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. No. We're still friends six plus years later, and every time someone mentions muffin stroke cupcakes around us, we just death stare each other. Is the then what is it? You're literally baking muffins and then you're putting the icing on them. That's literally what a cupcake is. Like, as opposed to what? If you take away the icing from the cupcake, what are you left with? A muffin. That's literally what you're... Bro, I'm getting way too invested in this shit. Dare each other. Is the dress blue and black or white and fuck off with that? Oh. Do you guys remember that? That picture with that stupid ass dress. Fucking hated it. Fucking hated it. That stupid, unnecessary, dumb ass discussion. My color is the dress. I don't fucking care. Leave me alone. Uh, me and my group of friends have this argument on what's the best way to stack rhinos. It How would you even be able to verify what's the best way to Is stack rhinos? Wall? We still haven't come to an agreement if treasure maps and road maps are in the same category. That'd be a misclassification. Christ, you lot will argue over anything. I once got into an argument with my college roommate about whether Aladdin should be angry when Jasmine kissed Jafar to distract him at the end of the movie. We Classic. We were too college-aged men yelling at each other in the middle of a bar for some reason it just got so heated it only ended when my friend left the bar I'm, I'm, I'm still mad thinking about it i think the dumbest argument i've ever been in people are different i i don't know what to say also guys called icy swag i'm expecting something good here was uh is ice wet are you Oh my god. Bro. What? Okay. Like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. His eyes wet. Yeah. I, I guess. Like, if you touch ice for long enough, you get wet. 
Why are we having this discussion? Naked if you're wearing socks. We Wait. Are you naked if you're wearing socks? Why are we having these philosophical philosophical lessons with stuff like this? Like imagine if humanity used their brain resources on something productive instead of that. What we could achieve, like the the dream of having flying cars would probably not be that far away if we had people that just used their brain power for something like that instead of something like that. Are you naked if you're wearing socks? Chat, chat, comment section. What do you think? Are you naked if you're wearing socks? Honestly, I don't know. And I don't really care. Wearing socks? Which Star Wars movie was the sandiest? This. The sandiest. Not the best, not the worst. Which one was the sandiest? How, how much alcohol did you guys take in until you thought of that? Until this question came like up to you guys and you were like, yeah, that definitely is concerning. That is something we need to discuss. It's like, bro, what? Movie was the sandiest. How important does someone have to pay for their murder to be called an assassination? I want to. Bro is asking for a friend, just, 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 just in case, you know. I argued with a girlfriend about whether or not we were going to have an argument. Argu hey, what? Going to have an argument. So who said no? Who said no, we're not having an argument right now? Uh. The species of Reddit user, it's such a different subspecies of an average human being. It's, it's just different, bro. To have an argument. Argued with X about how to pronounce the word egg. How the fuck? Did you mispronounce egg? Yeah. Egg. Bruh. My friends still argue about this. Uh, what is the correct term for a Mars bar when you only have one? Uh, I'll tell you what it's not. Mars bar. How would you pronounce What? Wait. Huh? No, wait. Wait a second. I always thought it was called Mars Bar because, you know, the, the, the planet. Mars. Why would you... Am I missing something? Why would you even consider that a singular Mars Bar would not be called a Mars Bar? Guys, am I, am I missing something? Wait, maybe, maybe I can Google this. Let's see, so I don't hit my mic microphone. Uh, how do I type it? What was the Mars bar named after? Bro, I know what it consists of. My fat ass has eaten enough of those, I know. I know what is inside and what it tastes like. I want to know. Uh, <laughs> oh, how big is this Wikipedia article? Deep right ma. Ew. Bro, Americans will just eat anything as long as it's fried. Um. I did not get my answer. Maybe you guys somehow know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I 
cable got tangled on my microphone one second. Okay, yeah, maybe you guys have any ideas. I I always assumed it was just named after the planet, you know? This word. Oh, okay, they're showing it. I was about to be like, yeah, I need to move. How to pronounce this word? The G in gigantic. You fucker. I'm going Ah, uh, why are we having this discussion? I made you the second line of this post first. We were both nine, and neither of us were right. Whether the people who were trying to hitch a ride were called hijackers or hike hitchers. I wasn't actually part of the argument, what? but two people I know spent a good three hours arguing about whether a pony could ride a horse with a sand... Wait, they... How oh much? Re... Hours. They spend a good three hours arguing about whether a pony could ride a horse. Bruh. Pony could ride a horse. Whether sandals are considered shoes. Whether a fish can swim through snow. Whether or not Albert Einstein or Arnold Schwarzenegger would be more useful to have around during a zombie apocalypse. H how on earth would Albert Einstein come in handy? Yo, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he could develop something. I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, I, I think Arnold takes the win on this one, to be honest. I had an ongoing argument for months about whether rocks are stupid or not. I mean... What? Whether rocks are stupid or not. Bro, you should ask yourself, are you stupid or not? Take a big fucking look into the mirror. What the? Bruh. What? That is a ridiculous argument. How can, how did anyone come up with a valid argument against rocks having literally no brain? Yes, yes, exactly that. Yeah. Exactly. They don't have a brain, so they can't be stupid because they lack the ability to be smart. Shut the fuck up. Bro, there's a reason your account is deleted. Shut the fuck up, please. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. I remember when I was about 13, my parents had an hour-long shouting match that ended with them almost getting divorced. Okay, that's pretty crazy. Probably also pretty traumatic. Let's see, what was it about? The issue, mm -hmm. whether or not the nation of Iraq has a coastline. My friend... Ah. The good old Iraq causing divorces. Almost forgot about that one. Friend and I got into a huge fight over the question, how deep can a pan get before it becomes a pot? It uh. took a half hour before we realized what we were arguing about. Pan has one handle, pot has two. I definitely have pots with one handle. Guys, please shut the fuck up. Why are we having these discussions? Oh shit. Shit indeed. Here we go again. I always thought a pan has the long handle and pots had no handle or two oh. handles. No handle? I was a cooking an expert, yeah? Never seen a pot with two handles in my life. It's a first Google image for pot. Have you ever- Wait, you've never seen a pot with two handles? Yeah, have you ever been in a kitchen? Been in a kitchen was once sauce becomes soup, obviously. But if you make soup in a saucepan, is it still soup? Would sauce in a soup pan become soup? Pan is square, pot is circle. What is this? Ooh. Three inches is saute pan, four inches is a pot. And what if it's three and a half inches? What is it, a bloody... Bloody jacuzzi, yeah? <laughs> bloody jacuzzi for... Bloody guinea... guinea pigs. Eh. Bloody guinea, guinea, guinea pigs. Hey yo. Do not cook the guinea pigs. What the? 
Guinea what? pigs, every pan is a pot, not every pot is a pan. And you have it backwards though, every pot is a pot. Oh my god. Yo, again, like I said, we have so much brain capacity and we're using it on shit like this. Like, imagine how many potential, like, Einsteins or Elon Musks or whatever the hell we could have if we focused on actual problems rather than when is a pan a pot or not? Bro. Pan, not every pan is a pot. Get wrecked. You saying I cook my baked beans in a fucking pan, you daft wanker. If you can't boil an egg in it, it's not a pot, you jackass. I'm too lazy to check what other people have said, but once the height of... Okay, here we go. ...more than one third of the radius of the bottom, it is a pot not a pan the source the u.s air force cooking school it was the dumbest test question i had to answer so i'll remember it forever finally okay well, that's that set okay how curve could a frying pan be before it becomes a wok oh bro we just we just finished our argument now you're starting the next round like she here she she made the research and actually hit us with the facts and ended the discussion and then this fucker over here just opens up the next round he's like okay we were done with arguing about banal stupid useless things let's do it again brah like i'm sure some of these people they're doing this on purpose like come on oh boy I still don't know what the one was the Mars bar named after. No, I don't know. Like I said, I always assumed it was named after the planet Mars. Because what else would it be named after? Or was it created by the people called Mars? England by Forest Mars. Ah. I think I found my answer. No, 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 no. It was manufactured in 1932 in Slow, England by Forest Mars Senior. Okay. I think we found our answer. So even if it's a singular bar, it's still a Mars bar because it's called after Forest Mars. Bro, why am I engaging in these conversations? Ah! Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Matt Rose, as usual, delivered very well. Um, thank you for the suggestion. That was a nice video. Maybe I should do more Reddit videos. They seem to be pretty interesting. And so far, you guys seem to enjoy them as well. So I'll keep that in mind and maybe do more Reddit stuff. Um, speaking of that, if you have other suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I always welcome those. And yeah, I, I hope you guys have a great Friday and enjoy yourself and your weekend. And I hope I get to see you in another reaction video or during one of my live streams. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day and bye.